Yo guys, I have found something new for making your games look very smooth and increase a bit of FPS too. Um, leave a like and make sure to subscribe for future videos. So yeah, let's start with the video. So let me explain something with the program paint. So we're gonna turn off the control flow from Fortnite, but what does control flow do exactly? So when your PSU um, sends power to your CPU and GPU and your Windows, yeah, of course your CPU and GPU like to run Windows, um, your Windows controls applications, like not um, let it use unlimited power, like cap it. Like, so when there's going uh, power from the PSU to the CPU and GPU, and then Windows and then Fortnite. Um, when Fortnite takes too much power at some moment, uh, what Windows does is actually, oh, it takes too much power. Stop, you know. So and that moment when it stops, it's like get too much power from the PSU. Then you have a stutter. Like when you remove that, like let me choose another color. Like when you remove that. You don't have any stutters, so your phone has unlimited power from your CPU and GPU, so that will use uh, more power too from your PSU. So yeah, um, the only problem that can cause when you turn control flow off for Fortnite, um, your CPU or GPU may be a bit hotter, or um, the the power drain will be much more, yeah. Um, so yeah, like for positive things, it will decrease stutters and your game looks very smooth. And not only for Fortnite, but like for other games too. So yeah, let's start now with the instructions for how to disable control flow. So the first step we're gonna do is go to the search bar on the left side and type in exploit protection like you see here and you can choose or you can disable it for a whole system control flow or only for one application so yeah it's your own choice i still guess maybe try it only for uh, one game or like something else and maybe 10 disable it for the whole system if you're sure um but yeah, we can choose later. So you go to program settings, then add program to customize, then choose exact file path because Windows will not find the program. And then you go to this PC, go to the drive here for installed, probably your D drive, but like if you don't have two drives, then it will be your C drive. Um, you can know, see here Fortnite. Game for night for I came. I made a, a folder for night, so that's why you, I have a two Fortnite. Just saying, Windows 64, and then you see these four. Uh, you're gonna add them both for so that's important. Yeah, the game will start a bit faster too. So, you're gonna add the first one open, then you will need to search for control flow guard. Don't yeah, like see here, override system settings then off. The reason why it's already put off because I put it for all system off. Yeah, make sure it's control flow guard, like override system settings then off, not anything else. Because that I mean, I only know what control flow guard does and not anything else. So, yeah, just make sure it's control flow guard and nothing else, and make sure it's off. Then apply, then yes, then. You need to do it again, choose a file pad, the second one, open, go to control flow guard, check the override system settings, make sure this is off, then apply. Yeah, so do this for the, for the following two applications. Yeah. Um, your Fortnite will sort faster, right? I swear, like it will sort faster. Um, it depends on system too. Uh, on my system, it gave me a smoother experience 
of gameplay. Um, depends on the system, yeah. So when we have done this, you just apply. Make sure the format is closed. Um, so like you see here, these four applications from Fortnite are now disabled in control flow. You can just close this. And for the last step, um, you have to make sure your format is restored. And if that didn't help a lot, make sure your, you restored your PC. Because on some PCs you have to restore it and on some you don't need to. So uh, let me know in the comments if this did help or improve a lot. And yeah, see you guys in the next video.